Paul brought his own fan club here to the ballpark. We mentioned he is one of those legendary performers. High fastball taken for a ball, the throw down the second, and Bird steals the base easily. Good pitch to run on, and now he is in scoring position. The Phillies trail here in the top of the fourth, five to one. Strike is called, and it's even on Paul DiMatteo at one ball, one strike. There have been three, just three players in baseball history that have stolen 60 bases or more and had 20 or more home runs in the same season. Just three, can you name them? And two of which played for Bay Area teams. I'll give you a little hint. In fact, all three of these players actually played for teams in California. There goes Burge, the third, down by four, and a ground ball base hit center field for Paul DiMatte. The run will score easily, and the Phillies have cut the deficit to three at five to two. Paul DiMatte with an RBI single. And now Kevin Wiltz. Wiltz will bat with nobody out and swinging and a drive down the left field line and it is just foul as it rolls to the 340 marker in foul territory down the left field line. Swing and a pop-up over the head of the second baseman. That's dropping in for a hit. Paul will hold up at second base. First and second, so the Phillies, after giving up two in the second, three in the third, start the fourth inning with three consecutive singles. A run is in, first and second, no out, and Greg Strohmeyer. Check swing, third baseman cuts it off, goes to second for one, and then wiped out. That was a clean, that looked like a clean slide down there. And now the umpire is gonna rule double play. The runner has to go back to third, and they're gonna say interference on the runner, and I think he missed the call. I really believe he may have missed the call. Let's check it again on our APN Sports replay. Well, here it is again. And here it is in slow motion. That is a clean slide. He slid right into the bag. And really, the, the, the second baseman may have, he was just in the way. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time. And that's one of those plays. You get rid of the ball, you either jump over the guy or you come over to the infield side of the bag. That looked pretty clean from here. The umpire's gonna plead his case to Brad Silva. But I'll tell you what, there was nothing wrong with that play, and this umpire, I think, just, you know, and maybe in the back of his mind, he's saying, look, I'm going to call it because I don't want an incident. We don't want the the tempers to flare. I just want to set a precedence right here. That's the only reason I think he would have called it. But he's pleading his case to Brad Silva, and I think he made the wrong call, and I'm not picking sides here, but, And at the end of the top.